Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find all nine collectibles here in the Lugra Hulk core in Jedi Survivor. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're gonna be starting from the Lugra Hulk core meditation site that's located right here towards the front of the facility. And as soon as you spawn in, the first thing you wanna do is take a left and we're gonna work our way down this ramp here. And as soon as you enter this room right here on your right at the back of the hallway, it's gonna be your first collectible. So once you grab this one, we're gonna turn around and head back to that ramp We'll work our way back up toward the meditation site and this time we're going to take a left and jump across now you'll have some enemies over here you may encounter so you can take them out and right over here we're going to have a platform we want to use force lift on this platform so that we can jump up to it we'll come right over here and jump across once you grab onto this we're going to use force slam to pull this down and we can get on top of it now once you're on this it's going to raise up so we'll just wait for it to go up and once it goes up, we can then go inside this little room and get our chest. Now, after you grab this chest, we're gonna head back outside. We'll come back down here to this platform and we can jump back across. And we wanna come right over here to this elevator. We can use force slam to bring it down. And then when we get on it, it's gonna go back up. And once we get to the top, we're gonna take a left and head right back over here. We're gonna have a door that's open that we can go in. And in the back of this room is gonna be your next collectible. Once you pick this one up, we're gonna turn around and this time we're gonna to head to the other side of the elevator. So instead of going left, we're gonna go right. We'll come all the way back around and we're gonna have a little drop down over here. So right when you get to the edge, we can just drop down to this little section right here. We'll be able to drop down again and right here will be your next one. And once you grab this one, we want to go get a scavenger droid. So we'll just follow this path all the way around the back and right back over here to the right is where you're going to find them. Now you'll need to be pretty quick as this guy takes off pretty fast. So as soon as you get back here to start taking off, you can chase him down here. When you catch up to him, take him out. And once you take him out, he's going to drop a treasure that you can pick up. And that's going to be your next collectible. Now, after you take him out and pick up the treasure, we're going to have a little ledge here that we can jump from. We're going to jump right across this area here. And right over here on the ground is going to be your next treasure. Now, once you grab this one, we can head back over to the bridge. We're going to take a left and go back outside here. And across the way, we'll have some more turrets we need to take down using force uh, slam. But we're going to go ahead and jump across. Watch out for the little train guy coming by. Uh, and then we're going to use force lift and force slam on this chest and that'll be your next collectible. And once you pick up this chest, we're going to head back to the other side and we're going to go back toward that bridge where we took out the scavenger droid. And if we go all the way to the end of this bridge, we're going to end up in another room. We'll go around these pipes here and we're going to have a green wall that we can jump through. So we'll jump through that. And right over here on the left side, you'll have some turrets. Watch out for those. We're gonna have a door that we can open. So go ahead and open this door and behind that door is gonna be your next collectible. Now, after you grab this one, our final collectible is gonna be in the room that's directly above us. The downside is the only way to get there is to head over to the hangar rafters. So we're gonna work our way back toward the meditation site. Turn around, we'll come back across the bridge here and we're gonna work our way all the way around the back. This is for those of you that don't know how to get back to the meditation site head back all the way around the corner i wish there was a little shortcut here to make it a little easier and when you get all the way to this back corner we can jump back up on this wall we'll then take a left and go through this door right here work your way back over here to the right side on your left we'll be able to get back out and you guys will see the meditation point from here so we're going to run right back over here to the meditation site and once you get here, we're gonna fast travel. So go ahead and open up your fast travel map. And we're gonna fast travel right up here to the hangar rafter. So go ahead and take that fast travel. Now, once you spawn in, we're gonna turn around and head through this giant door right here. If you don't already have this door unlocked, you're gonna wanna come right over here and work your way through that door. And you just wanna work your way around the outside. You guys can see where your wall run, you'll go through that green wall and you'll just work your way all the way around. And once you get over there, you're going to end up coming out right over here. So I'll show you, there's going to be a green wall that you can jump through. So once you go all the way around, you'll just come out over here, jump through the green wall, and then you can unlock this shortcut. Hopefully that helps those of you that don't have this main door unlocked already. But once you come through, we're just going to work our way all the way down this main hallway. So you've got a little bit of traveling to do. Go all the way to the back. You're going to encounter enemies along the way. Once you get to the end here, we're going to take a left. You'll see some stairs. We'll work our way toward those stairs and we're going to have another door that we're going to run through. This door will open up and once we're inside, we're going to take a right right over here and take another left. Again, you'll have some more enemies that you need to take out. And once you make it into this room, you'll be able to sneak through this little crack. 
And in the back of this room, we'll have another door. And if you follow this all the way to the back, you'll see the blue glow. And this is going to be your ninth and final collectible. But this is how to find all nine collectibles here in the Lucre Hulk core. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.